In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Christ is risen. Alleluia. And he has overcome death. It's Easter Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Siamé, a selection of Don Bosco. Stay tuned. It is Thursday, the 11th of April, 2024, second week of Easter, and participating in the proclamation of the Word of God for today are the following daily bread members. Anjali Sancha Okoye celebrating her birthday today from Dakar, Senegal, takes for us the first reading. Sister Janet Waziri celebrating her birthday today from Jalingo, Nigeria, takes for us the responsorial sum. And proclaiming the gospel is Father Matthew Bowman John celebrating his birthday today from Kaduna Archdiocese in Nigeria. Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the Paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people so that Christ our High Priest, interceding on our behalf, May by his likeness to ourselves bring us reconciliation, and by his equality with you free us from our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 5, verses 27 to 33. In those days, when the officer had brought the apostles, they set them before the council. And the high priest questioned them, saying, We strictly charged you not to teach in this name, yet here you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and you intend to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised Jesus whom you killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are witnesses of these things. And so is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they were enraged and wanted to kill them. The word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm is taken from Psalm 34, verses 2 and 9, 17 to 18, and 19 to 20. The response is taken from Psalm 34, verse 7a, and the response is, The lowly one called, and the Lord heard him. The lowly one called. And the Lord helped him. The lowly one called, and the Lord heard him. The Yeah. 
cry out the Lord hears and rescues them in all their distress. The lonely one called and the Lord has him. The Lord is close to the broken Gospel acclamation is taken from John chapter 20, verse 29. You believed, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord john chapter 3 verses 31 to 36 he who comes from above is above all he who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks in an earthly way he who comes from heaven is above all he bears witness to what he has seen and heard, yet no one receives his testimony. Whoever receives his testimony sets his seal to this, that God is true. For he whom God has sent utters the words of God, for he gives the Spirit without measure. The Father loves the Son and has given all things into his hand. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are in the life of Easter, the new life that comes with Christ who died and rose from the dead. As I was sharing with you yesterday, we must start living a life we have been preparing for in all the 40 days of our prayer and fasting. And that life entails listening more to God than we listen to our fellow human beings. Look at the apostles. These men 
became so fearless after the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that just proves to us, Jesus indeed came back to life. He rose from the dead because there is no way me, a fisherman, could stand before the educated elite to argue with them. There is no way Peter, who never even studied any law, could stand and speak on behalf of the apostles. There is no way that a tax collector who quietly stole the money from others could even be standing before the rulers, the leaders of the church, to answer them, to say that we are listening to God, we are not going to listen to you. That only happens in the lives of people who have chosen to be led by the Spirit, by Christ himself, the risen Lord. If you decide to go on the side of Christ, I'm telling you, you'll be bold enough to tell the world, we would rather listen to God than listening to you. Wow. We hear these words. We strictly charge you not to teach in this name. They don't want even to mention the name. It was disgusting for the Jews. The name. That is the name of Jesus. We told you not to discuss anything that has to do with Jesus. We told you not to put crosses in your churches. We told you not to even make a sign of the cross when you are having a function and you are asked to say a prayer in the public. Don't do that. We told you. And you went ahead and did everything you wanted to do. Oh yes, because we don't listen to human beings, we listen to God. When you are listening to God, you won't care about what other people are going to think when you do something. No, you are going to do something because you are convinced this is the right thing to do. You are going to do something because you are convinced God is speaking to you and telling you, This is what you have to do, not what America is telling you, not what the West is telling you, not what any leader who has gone off track is telling you. Do what God is telling you to do. And in this regard, you have to learn to be stubborn, to be convinced, to have something you stand for. And that something that you stand for has to do with your own convictions based on the word of God. Whatever contradicts the word of God, even if it is coming from me as your priest, say no to it. Listen to God and not my voice. Because that's what should happen to a child of the resurrection a child of the resurrection fears no one except god that's how it should be we are living in a world that is compromising too much we find even most of our church leaders not knowing how to live a life of the resurrection living a life of the resurrection demands that we stop listening to a voice that contradicts what is written in the word of God and start listening to what God is telling us. Peter and the apostles answered, we must obey God rather than men. That's it. And the God we are obeying is telling us that we tell the people about this new life. The new life that is found in Christ, the new life that tells me about righteousness that is no longer spoken about publicly in our schools. It seems in some countries you may be taken to court for telling people that Christ died and rose for us. For telling people that you are supposed to be men and women in marriage and not men and men and not women and women because the word of God says so. And when I say like that, I may find myself in court. Don't worry. 
Find yourself in court, but defend what you stand for and tell those judges that it is better to listen to God than listen to you human beings created in the image and likeness of God, created out of dust. You are here today and tomorrow you won't be here. But what will stand forever is what comes from the mouth of God. And I'm going to obey what comes from the mouth of God. And this is exactly what Jesus tells Nicodemus when he talks about he who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth belongs to the earth and of the earth he speaks. Somebody who belongs to the earth will only be focusing on environment, on issues that have only to do with the world of politics and all, and will forget to tell people about righteousness, about sin. If you come from above, if you belong to the one who comes from above, you won't be shy to talk about sin, even if you may be sinful yourself. Because you know the right thing to tell people. You know the right thing to do. And when you know the right thing to do, the right thing to say, you won't shy away from talking about the principles of the Bible to other people. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Thursday to you. Thanks be to God.